I picked Blakely up for a split second and I think she's mistaking me for the, the toilet. toilet. <laughs> this is eternal. We are slowly dying. Potty again? Do we need to go to the toilet? Yeah. Oh, gotta go. This is what victory feels like. Hey guys, welcome back to the House of Hughes and welcome to Blakely's official potty training video. Listen, I know we've tried this a few times. We've had a couple attempts, failed attempts, I might add, probably because of mom and dad, not really because of Blakely. But you guys, we're out of time. Hunter's season is about to start on March 1st. We have to potty train her because I don't want to do it by myself. So we are going to be doing it over the course of two to three days. The first day is going to be structured kind of like this. So I am headed to the gym, but Hunter's going to be home. He's going to wake Blakely up before changing her diaper or changing her clothes. He's going to give her breakfast. He's gonna give her tons of apple juice and then he's going to set a 15 minute alarm. He's going to take her diaper off and he's going to wait that 15 minutes and then he's gonna ask her if she needs to use the potty and that's where we're gonna introduce the toilet. She already knows that mommy and daddy pee pee in the potty and she's asking to pee pee in the potty but she just never successfully has. So I feel like we have a really good shot, a better shot than we did last time. Her understanding is just higher and I definitely feel like she's more ready. So that's how we're gonna structure today and then we're just gonna keep her naked all day. So you guys will only be seeing Blakely's cute little face from like the neck up today on camera. And then tomorrow we're gonna introduce panties and then hopefully Monday will be like the next day of panties and she's hopefully being a little bit more successful. So today should be really funny. Honestly, Hunter is so funny. You guys know this. So I'm just excited to hear his commentary throughout this whole thing. I'm gonna head to the gym. Hunter's gonna take the first shift and we'll see how the day goes. Okay, so Rachel just walked out of the door to the gym. I think it might be a big misunderstanding. When she said she was going to the gym, I thought she was joking, but she is in fact leaving me here to document the journey as well as watch Blakely to see when she pees or poops on the floor alone. And so, what's, what's the matter? My concern um, as of right now is just the overwhelm, the overwhelm that I'm feeling. Um, yeah, this is gonna be interesting. For the better part of my daughter's breakfast, she's been laughing at me. I I'm not kidding when I say I think she knows what's about to happen and finds it funny. So yeah, I'm afraid. Okay. Update, she has said potty or pee pee four billion times. I've taken her to the toilet at least 400 million of those times and no pee yet. She is holding it though, so she hasn't had a single accident yet. And whenever we first tried this, she had like five accidents in a row. So I think she gets the concept better, but still no dice. I'll keep you guys updated. Okay, first incident, she did pee on the floor, but as soon as she did, I noticed it and she looked at me and went potty, toilet. So, I feel like that's really big progress, and she's now walking around chanting, I love apple juice. You like your apple juice? Because she's getting the time today. So, she's pretty, oh, you ready to pee pee? This is what victory feels like. So, she's sitting there in the chair, she pees in the middle of eating her lunch on her seat. I walk over and calmly rush her to the bathroom sit her down when we sit there for about 10 minutes and she peed just a little bit but she peed and she is now enjoying the spoils of war with m&ms bubs is waiting for sis to be potty trained but he has this new toy i'll show you guys with my feet it sticks to the carpet and so when he goes to grab it it doesn't come off bubba so are you playing with your toy are you playing with your toy Is that fun? Good job. Hey guys, okay, so I am back from the gym and we've had a really successful few minutes. So Hunter told you guys and caught me up on the fact that she started to tinkle a little in her chair and then went over and did have a successful one in the potty. Well, she has probably had like five successes since I've been home. So dad did such an amazing job setting that foundation. She is understanding that she goes in the potty. You guys just heard her. I think she might be headed over there. Empty her bladder all at once. But it's been kind of nice because it's reinforcing that we need to go to the potty like every five minutes. So it's been really, really good. So I'm feeling very hopeful. Pee pee in the potty? Yeah? Pee pee potty, good girl. Okay guys, I think we're gonna go again. I've got this cutie little patootie over here who has done so amazing. She's had at least 10 successful pee pees in the potty. We also had a successful pee pee on the minky, so that's washed and hung up to dry. And we have our supportive brother. 
Beckham. I told him that he was welcome to go pee pee in the potty whenever he wanted, huh, Bubba? He does crawl over to the bathroom every time Blakely has to go, I and it is so cute. Bye. Oh, 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 stop. Okay, so this is what's funny, you guys, is every day Blakely undresses herself. Like, she takes off her diaper, she takes off her clothes, and she wants to be naked. Today, though, she keeps asking us, dressed, dressed, pants? Like, she wants to get dressed, and I'm like, oh, my sweet little Blakely, okay. Oh, mommy just brushed your hair, cutie. <laughs> hey guys, little update. Me and Miss Thang, we are playing blocks. Can you say colors. Hi? Colors, yeah, and we're practicing our colors, huh? Yes, yeah, so we are playing blocks. I just have a little blanket on the hardwood. Oh, gotta go. Okay, we just had a successful few little drips in the toilet. What is hard is just that she doesn't release it all at once, but it does let us keep going back to teach her. She is starting to realize that when she goes on the potty, she gets a candy corn, so that's positive. But she did let out a little toot, so I'm kind of like, okay, might be close to a poop, so we're keeping a really close eye on her. Potty again? Yeah. Do we need to go to the toilet? Hey. Yeah. Okay. Fresh mommy's hair. Thank you. Good girl. Beautiful. Here, brush mommy's. Brush mommy's. Good job. So cute, you guys. I wish I could show you her. She's so cute. Sit down. Oh, yeah. Do you want to sit down? You can sit down. Yeah. Good job. Here, should we show everybody your beautiful little face? Say hi. Oh, are you brushing hair? Oh, oh, you have a pony in. Oh, not anymore. You can brush your hair. Here you go. You want to brush? Good job. Wow, you're the prettiest girl I've ever seen. <laughs> Good job. Okay, so I can tell she's kind of starting to get like a little bit frustrated. Like at first I think she was super excited and now she's kind of a little bit Stay frustrated. Here. So Come we have here. nap time. Oh, 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 you cannot be on camera, girly. Now we have nap time in like 20 minutes, which will be a nice break for Hunter and I, but it will also give her the opportunity to sleep and hopefully that'll kind of reset her excitement for after nap time. So uh, dad was playing hide and go see. I picked like that for a split second and I think she's mistaking me for the, the toilet. toilet. <laughs> Uh, she just had a little tinkle winkle. Also, my home, my my wife has been home for an hour. I went to the bathroom and came back. She goes, next time you go to the gym, I'm gonna hide for two hours too. And she's been home for 60 minutes. This is eternal. We are slowly dying. How do you parents do this? Shout out to all the parents that have potty trained their children because I think this is a wrap. I think she'll never be potty trained. I think right around 18, we'll make sure to give it the old the old Hughes go ahead. No. Hi, Baba. Baba had a little bit of some uh, throw up last night, so we have to let him sit in his chair a little longer than usual today to make sure that he feels you good. Huh, we don't you want your brush. belly to hurt. You oh, yeah, you want to brush Beckham's hair? Go for it, girl. Good job. Yeah, you brushing his hair. Oh, he loves it. The kids are down for their nap. Hunter and I are experiencing our first moments of freedom. And peace. Yes, how do you feel Listen, like she my did? My kids bring me so much joy, but this morning was eternal. <laughs> um, I feel like she did really, really well, except for the times that she didn't do super well. Oh. Uh, so I'm really hoping she can do a little better during the second block of the day, because like she would pee in the bathroom, and like it would be like just a couple of drops, and then she'd walk out onto the hardwood, and like, release her bladder. No, I don't feel like that. Mm, I feel like right. she had a few little streams I with me. You were me. Oh my gosh. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like she had a good a good few streams with mommy. She did better than I thought she would. Way better than she has ever in the past. Um, yeah. She did really good. She was way more ready. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Light years more. And so are her parents. Yeah, true. <laughs> I feel like she did good. Overall, like out of 10. No, I feel like she did really good. Actually, I feel surprised by how good she did. Like, honestly, our last few attempts, we gave up after like a couple hours because she was like afraid of the toilet. Do you remember that? She was like, 100%. afraid 100%. to sit on the toilet. Now she's like excited to sit on the toilet, but she kind of started losing her steam before nap time. So I just how do you like, I know she unloaded in her diaper when we put it on her mouth. How do you feel like you're doing? Scale of one to 10. I'm sleepy today. Yeah, me too. I feel I feel really tired as well. But Hunter and I have a date 
date night tonight, so we have our sitter coming, but she's coming after Blakely will be in bed. So I feel like we won't lose any progress, but I'm like more worried about tomorrow than I am about today. But it should be fine. Do you need to check your food? Nope, my food's good. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll show you guys what I'm making yeah. though. These are my high protein grilled cheese. And so I just use 45 calorie Sara Lee bread and then one serving of Velveeta cheese and two servings of fat free cheese. And that makes all the cheese taste like good normal cheese doing that mix. Cause I don't like Velveeta cheese and I also don't like fat free cheese, but whenever you mix them, it works. <laughs> So anyways, it's super high protein. It's really really yummy and it does taste like grilled cheese Okay, my gorgeous girl is awake from her nap and she is drinking some apple juice So hopefully we can get things moving. Say hi guys It's the next day. So I think we're skipping ahead just a little bit I think I vlogged almost all of yesterday and I would say that it was a pretty successful day So I'm just gonna give you guys a quick little update. We had multiple successful peas in the potty But she did not end up going number two on day one So I'm a little nervous about that today. We are up. She's had breakfast. We've given her fluid It's been about an hour hour and a half since she's woken up and she hasn't Asked to go to the bathroom, she hasn't had any accidents. And I have noticed, well, just yesterday and today, that it does take her about two hours to start actually going, but then once she starts going, she doesn't stop. I do know that she knows that candy corn is associated with going potty. So that is a tool that we've used that seems to be working for us. I know not everyone agrees with T-R-E-A-T -E being associated with the potty, but that's worked pretty well for us. And so, you know, this is trial and error, guys. Like, we don't know what we're doing. This is our first kid that we've potty trained. We've taken tons of advice and just kind of put it together and seen what she's been the most receptive to. So she seems to be doing pretty well. I am just waiting for Hunter to get home from the gym and then I'm gonna head to the gym. So hopefully nothing crazy happens when we're alone but she's doing pretty good I can already tell it's gonna take more than three days like I was hoping to do the three-day method with her but I just know it's gonna take more than three days because even though I think she understands that we want her to go pee in the potty she's a little hesitant like she's not loving it so I didn't get her a small potty just because I wanted her to be able to go potty anywhere especially in public so I think it might take us a little bit longer but that's okay we're in it for the long haul so we will keep you guys updated and take you guys along with us today so it's been a few more minutes and I'm sensing more of like a refusal attitude from her <laughs> like she's literally saying potty potty but then she's refusing to sit on the potty <sighs> so that's a little nerve-wracking I'm like what do I do and then I have to remember there's no adult that's not potty trained I can do this <laughs> Okay, you guys, massive success. I was just saying how I was like a little stressed, but Blakely came back over to me and she said, mommy, I need to go potty. So I took her into the bathroom and I had two little pieces of candy corn with me. I gave her one just for sitting on the toilet. And then she did try to get up a couple times, but I said, no, if you pee pee in the potty, I'll give you another one. I just kept encouraging her to stay because I knew that her bladder was full. I knew she had to pee. And then a few seconds later, she literally released her entire bladder, which was a big issue we had yesterday. She was only doing like a few little tinkles in the toilet and she released her entire bladder. I was so proud of her, so we clapped, we sang songs, and then I let her flush the toilet, wipe, wash her hands, do like the whole nine yards, and she was so excited, and it's so nice because now I know her bladder is no longer full. So of course I'm still gonna keep a close eye on her, but I don't have to be like mm, not moving at all, like knowing she's gonna be dripping everywhere. So that was so successful and I'm so excited, and I feel like that's an indicator that today is going to go a little bit better than yesterday, but I would say that yesterday was still successful. So I'm really hopeful now. Guys, another one. She came up to me, said potty. We went to the potty. When I put her on the toilet, she got a little anxious, a little resistant, but I more just distracted her, no forcing in any way, just distracted her. And then she let out another big gush of pee. And I'm so excited. That's two really big successes already today. I'm not gonna lie, I'm like the tiniest bit nervous for us to switch from mom to dad just because, baby, can you share with your brother? Blakely, share with Beckham. Can you share with Beckham, please? 
I'm just a little bit nervous about that switch just because I want her to just continue being successful. And Hunter's obviously amazing and he's gonna do a great job, but I just know she feels really, really comfortable right now with the way I've been distracting her because she is being a little bit anxious. So I might try and like film the next one for Hunter just so, not like on the camera, just like literally on my cell phone so that I can show him what I've been doing and what I've been saying to her just so, oh, that was so sweet. She just gave back him a big hug just so he can kind of see like what I've been doing and what I've been saying to her to help her like stay calm. All right, coming at you guys with an update. I got back from the gym and then Rachel went to the gym and what happened was is I sat down to start eating my sandwich and she said potty, potty and was just walking to it by herself, like going to the bathroom by herself. So I followed her in and we sat there for about two minutes and just sat there and then she peed perfectly all by herself and she was so so happy and did an awesome job and then she did that two more times while Rachel was at the gym so this is day two and I feel like it's just going amazing she didn't have a single accident with me this morning she seems super confident and super happy and I think the next phase mom's gonna have to do alone because I'll be at work tomorrow so I'm kind of nervous for her she's gonna do awesome and I think we're actually getting through this potty training which I knew needed to happen, but I didn't know if it would or wouldn't or if we would fail a third time But you know what third time's a charm. I knew we would succeed. That's what I meant to say I knew we would succeed and it's going really well. She's so smart. She's she's progressed so much since we tried this last so easy peasy Say hi yeah, bath. She's asking for a bath because she's in the nude. <laughs> I have to leave this footage in because I was taking a thumbnail and Hunter didn't know that and he was staring at me thinking I was freaking out. <laughs> taking a thumbnail. <laughs> Hey you guys, little update. Blakely woke up from her nap a couple hours ago and we have had one really successful pee pee in the potty. We've had zero accidents today. We've had a couple like little tiny drops and then she stops and like tells us she's going potty or needs to go potty. But really no accidents today so that's super exciting. However, no number twos at all in the past day or two so I'm like I know she's holding it. And we have not tried panties yet, so we will be doing that tomorrow. We're probably gonna hit all the heavy peas tomorrow, you know what I mean? So we will see how that goes. I'll be by myself, and I'm nervous, but I think it's all gonna be okay. So I will keep you guys updated, but I'm gonna go ahead and close out this potty training vlog here. What are you looking at, girl? We've had like eyes on her. Oh, 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 sis, you can't walk by! <laughs> but I hope that you guys enjoyed watching us suffer. No, I'm just kidding. She actually did an amazing job. Like I would say 10 out of 10 for what I expected the experience to be. So I'm really, really proud of her. She's a rock star. And I'm just hoping that things continue to go smooth. She is now playing with our playing cards. So we're gonna go ahead and close out the vlog here. But I love you guys so much. Hope you enjoyed it. I wanna remind you to be brave like Beckham and we'll catch you in our next vlog. Bye.